All right. This is my one now. Rebellion. Now, oh, I do need to, oh, I got to visit the Magic Meep. So I did have to, I did have to come here. Son of a biscuit. All right. What is this up here? The old fool. A level three lock. Of course. All right, let's go. I got all the papers. I don't need nothing else. Edge. Oh, okay. Where's the path? Oh, it's over here. Right. Well, hello there. Hello, sir. Timothy Tearsdale. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I, I see keep you sell cabbages. Because I like a good Watch out for flying bison. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Yep. Let so me I... guess. You're after something fresh. Yep. So I got the small potter planter and the potion maker. Then I got a potion recipe. And I need seeds. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'm I, you? I mean, I could. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Matty. But I think I'm going to save. Revelio. Give it to me. Magic Neep Carts. The cart belongs to Timothy Tearsdale, who runs the Magic Neep. Uh, he enjoys a uh, trick of the things and engages customers outside of his shop. I'll learn how to unlock, uh... Yeah. Now I picked up a new one, replaced all my supplies. Should go meet Natty. Oh, uh, Natty! Natty, I did it! I should look up a recipe for butter beer. A cat! Sorry, Natty. Cat, take priority. Oh, Natty. Oh, man. After talking to that one kid, I should have, like, chased after the cat. You know, see if he was... Like... I can't remember his name. Not A. I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Did you just grow sweat? Oh no, it's starting to rain. Oh, that's a troll. Go towards the building. Oh no. Oh. Okay, there's a dodge mechanic.
Are we weakening him at all? Keep at this! We have to wear him down! Oh, she just got smacked! Oh, okay, triangle is to uh, block the counter. Okay, red... Ow! Fuck. Oh, ancient magic throw. What was that? I was trying to beat him at his own game. I like it! Do more! It's very unsafe. Yeah. Oh, aha! Uh -huh. Let me drink a potion real quick. You got like Batman mechanics here. Look, he's wandering. Took him long enough. We need to make sure he stays at him. I tried to dodge. L1 and R1 invoke ancient magic. Oh, uh. I popped him like a balloon. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? Uh. I so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of Honora, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank officer. you again. Yes, ma'am. Now I have to repair the damages. Uh... Akio. Oh, hello there. A, a moment, if you would. I will see what he wants. I just saw the flying paper. Where was it? Repairer. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Akio. No. Repairer. Uh, oh, there you are. Akio. Aha, I got you, bitch. Repairer. Rebellion. I guess of Woodcroft. <laughs> Excuse me. The statue of a Hufflepuff Hindus of Woodcroft, believed to be the founder of the village of Hogsmeade, after having been driven from his home by muggle pursuers. Oh, well, poor man. What is wizard wear? Founded in 1750 at the location in Paris, London, the Hogsmeade Glen, uh, Glandrags offers a variety of wizarding garments and accessories. Mr. Augustus Hill and his associates Otto Dibble happily help all those who are wandering into the shop, enjoying in particular the challenge to the customer with less fashion sense than most. Can I repair a whole ass building? Repair. Why the fuck? Hmm. Let's see, was there Cat, you're alive! Oh, I'm so happy! Okay, I might get a cat. If I get to choose an animal. I want a hippogriff. Repairer. Oh, it's a good thing all the fireworks stayed in one piece. 
Wish you guys could see my face right now. What are you up to now? What are you up to now? We were just talking about you. Where are you? Rebellion. Yeah, you're gonna talk about how how shitty a fashion I have. Shop for myself a cup of tea. Lion drags mannequin. Unlike the enchanted mannequins favored by students for du uh, dwelling pa dueling practices, the mannequins at gladiators serve only the means to display the last wizardry fashion. Loyal and kind cloak. Oh, I might have to. Oh, hi. Sneakoscope. Sneakoscope is a type of dark detector that will spin, whistle, and light up when it detects something untrustworthy nearby. It should be used with caution, however, and it will alert the untrustworthy to the user's presence almost instantly. So it tells me when something untrustworthy is happening, but at the same time. Oh, I love that. And at the same time. Oh, I can change my spells. <laughs> the alternating spell. Where's the... Oh, wait, the blind spell. Yeah, it makes me invisible. That's the one I need for the chest. Uh, excuse me. Uh... Mo, now you're going to yell at me about how shitty fashion I have. Hello, good sir. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. Sense of fashion. Glad rags, wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life saving. Ooh, Protection. enchantments! I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter. I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Oh, enchantments! The. I, that's far too generous. That's very kind of you, Mr. Hill, but I can't accept robes that I didn't pay for. <laughs> Nonsense! I insist! Okay. Now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Uh -huh. Take your time. Plus five offense. Okay. You can veer gear. Time to equip it. Now go to your screen. All right. The current defense and offense are displayed in the top right of the screen. Uh, select the cloak and robes. And this one, I just found this one and it's better. And it looks... <laughs> it's not the best looking, but you know. 375 for a purple tier item? That's not bad. Asylum mask plus 13 defense. Yes, I look crazy. Crazy. Oh, these are clothings. I don't have a hat. Well, I do have a hat, but... These are all affordable. These are not quite affordable, but these... Level 7. All right. Why can I? Oh, because it requires me to be level eight. Compare. Okay, so I do need a set of clothing. Um. You can't see it underneath my robe. Oh, that's kind of. 
How about, how about, how about a hat? <laughs> Let's look at the bright red hat that goes with my gold bath, like, bedrobe. Am I shitting on these, uh, this guy's, uh, fashion? A little bit. Yes. Yes, that is, that is the way. That is the way. Except I can't see nothing because I don't have my glasses. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Girl, you got to the three broomsticks. Sounds oh. like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. I want to are you okay? I more battle worthy items, should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Plenty yeah. for your perusal today. Take your time. Wait, wait, wait. I got a legendary sunstraw hat. Hold on. I, I I didn't realize I got some gear. Uh, I did. No, I do know I got some gear. The fuck am I talking about? All right. All right. So, Lord, uh, face wear. These are just standard, you know, well-appointed spectacles. Plus four defense. Plus nine defense with a trait slot. Look like. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Uh, headwear. I got this straw hat. Look like I'm about to go and <laughs> farm something. Okay, that. You know, actually, the, uh, the scarf might actually. It matches a little bit better. Uh, yeah, and then my outfit. I could buy a new outfit. Wand handles. I don't have a wand handle. Wait, a handle? Wait, I could actually get the wand to look like my wand. Nice, nice. Okay, so, but I can buy neckwear and clothing. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. There's no neckwear, but clothing, however. Wait, can I sell some? I can sell stuff. Alright, we'll, we'll sell. We'll sell that, sell that. We'll sell this. We'll sell this. We're gonna keep the common stuff, just because. I can get a purple gear now. Even though... Well, see that that looks nice, but I got a hat. I got the glasses. All I just needed some clothing and a scarf. The Celtic attire, Grey Highlands attire. We'll do that. Okay, we purchased, and we look absolutely atrocious. It's fine. It's fine. I want to go drink now. Give me my butter bear. And I ate. Oh, I'm supposed to follow you. Assuming follow. it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Yeah. Good one to know. I was quick. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? Victor Rockwell. All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, 
then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. Did they see us? I yes. think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Vanrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Yeah. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Well, it doesn't look that busy. Hello, uh, sir? Now, what can I... Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that uh, right? No. Well done. Thanks for this. A very my monotone. Pleasure. I will say, <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> Oh, time lane. Oh, Rockwood. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Especially Natty. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. I like your top hat. Butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Oh, shit. I should have taken Thomas! Been a long day. All I want to do is find a room and crawl into bed. That does sound nice. And that rock is still glowing! I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. 